Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to get substrings in Excel using different functions. First we'll explain what a substring is. Then we'll be using the left function. The right function. The mid and search functions. And finally, we'll give you a useful bonus tip. In computing, a substring simply means a section of any string of text or numbers. In this example, hello world is the string of text, and hello would be a substring. Or world would also be a substring. You can select a substring based on the position of the first character, and the length of the substring you want to extract. In hello world, there are 12 characters, which includes the space in between the two words. If we want to extract hello from the string, we start at the first character, and return the first five characters. In Excel, there are four common functions that deal with substrings. Those are left, right, mid, and search. And we'll be looking at those functions in detail in this video. In this example, we have a string of text containing a day, date, and year. If we want to extract a substring, such as Monday, we could use the left function, which starts from the first character, and returns a substring based on the number of characters you specify. To extract Monday, type equals left open parentheses a1 which is where the text is located comma 6 which is the number of characters in monday now close the parentheses and when we hit enter the function returns monday if we also wanted to return the ninth we would need to add four more characters to the six which includes the space between monday and ninth so when we change six to ten the function now returns monday ninth If we want to extract the year from the end of the string, we can use the right function, which starts from the last character, and returns a substring based on the number of characters you specify. To extract the year, type equals right open parentheses a1, or whichever cell your text is in, comma, then type 4, which is the number of characters in the year 2023. Now close parentheses and hit enter, and you'll have successfully extracted the year from the date. If we need to extract the month from the date, we can use the mid function, which starts from a specified character position, and returns the number of characters we specify. For example, to return October, our starting position would be the O, and the number of characters would be 7, since there are 7 characters in October. However, finding the character position of O might be difficult, especially if you're working with a long string of text. So, to find the starting position of a substring, we can use the search function. In C1, type equals search, then open parentheses. Now, in quotation marks, type October, or whatever substring you're searching for. Type a comma, then enter A1, or the cell where your string is located. Finally, close the parentheses and hit enter. We now know that the starting position of October is 12. If you also want to know the length of the string you're searching for, you can use the length function. To do that, click into C2, or any empty cell of your choice, and type equals, len, open parentheses, then type the substring you're searching for in quotation marks. Now close the parentheses and hit enter. Now we know that the length of October is 7. In B1, type equals mid open parentheses A1 comma 12, which is the starting position comma and then 7, which is the length of the substring. Finally, close parentheses and hit enter. That's it, we've now extracted a substring from the middle of a string. Here's a bonus tip if you have a list of variable length substrings that you need to extract. For example, we have a list of URLs where the name of the sites have different lengths. A simple way to get rid of the surrounding text is to use the substitute function. To do that, click into B1, and type equals, substitute, then open and close parentheses. Inside the parentheses, the substitute function takes three parameters. The first parameter is the text, or the cell where the text is located, which in this case is A1. The second parameter is the substring you want to change or remove, which is https colon slash slash. Make sure the substring is in quotation marks. And the third parameter, also in quotation marks, is the replacement text, which you can leave empty if you want to remove the substring. Hit enter, 
and you'll find that the start of the URL has been removed. If you also want to remove the .com, we can nest another substitute function within the first. Instead of A1, type substitute. Then open and close the parentheses. Again, for the first parameter, enter the cell where the text is located. Type .com in quotation marks for the second parameter. And leave the quotes in the third parameter empty. Hit enter again, and you'll see that both the beginning and end of the string have been removed. To apply this formula to all rows, click and drag the bottom right corner of the B1 cell. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.